UiPath Orchestrator Overview UiPath Orchestrator is a centralized web-based robot management dashboard which can be used to monitor the robot activities. It allows us to deploy a process or a robot, schedule a process or a robot, start or stop a process or a robot. The best thing, it is accessible through web and mobile app. This is how exactly it will look like. In the left hand side, we can have the features available and in the right side, the content related to them. As we proceed, how to access the orchestrator? By using this particular link provided over here called platform.uipath.com, we can access the orchestrator. But for that, we have to first create an account using any of the listed below accounts. Let's see how to do that. Right here, back to the browser, just type platform.uipath.com and then we'll be navigated to this particular UiPath platform. Here, because I have an account already, I will just select continue with Google, else if you don't have an account, you can click on sign up and continue using that particular account. So I will continue with Google and I will use my account. Right here, I am now into this particular UiPath platform where in the left hand side you can see a lot of options available. In the home, you can see the last time I have created this particular service and the license usages dashboard. And in the services tab, you can see there is a service available. Whenever you first register yourself into this platform, a default service, which is orchestrator service, will be created and you can delete it and create your new service. And then in the service, you can see UiPath provides us free licenses, which is two attended licenses to one unattended and two studio licenses which you can change and this is the service name which is editable and then coming to the users there is an admin available and you can add n number of users who will be able to access your orchestrator service you can invite the new users also and in licenses you can see which plan are you in currently and what are the different licenses which are available to you because right now I'm into community plan it is asking me to request for an enterprise trial and then audit logs this can be used for the troubleshooting or for compliance and edit records and the resource center you can see there are links provided to download the community edition studio and the enterprise edition studio because our purpose here is to learn about the orchestrator, go back to services and click on this particular service available to us. It will be taken to a different URL where this is the platform, this is the user account name and this is the service name. Here as you can see, this is what we call the orchestrator. In the left hand side we have monitoring section, automation section and management section. In monitoring, monitoring consists of the dashboard which will contain the processes that you have, the assets that you have, the queues that you have and the triggers that you have with you. Just clicking on them you will be able to see different processes defined and all those. Thanks. And the robots that are currently running are stopped, the jobs that you want to trigger and the queues that you have created and the number of transactions they have processed, every details will be available here and the logs too. That was about the overview of orchestrator. In the next sections we'll be looking at the automation and the management sections.